so in our last video we saw how you can use the react navigation and in react navigation we saw the syntax for the stack navigator in this video we will create a example for the stack navigator so open a react native project and open it on a visual studio code i already opened the ios simulator but you are uh, if you are on windows or linux machine you can also use the android emulator also it works fine so this is the syntax uh, this is the code from our last video we have two screen in our stack right now the first one is home and the second one is product category this is our home screen and this is our product uh, product category screen so uh, in our home screen we create two text inputs uh, for the email and for the password and we provide a button uh, when user uh, enter the right credentials for the login then user will redirect from the uh, home screen to product category screen otherwise uh, it will display an error message uh, uh, using this example you can create the uh, login screen but uh, the difference uh, is only that uh, we don't have any backend right now so we are using the uh, hard coded value for the login but uh, logic will remain the same so in the home screen uh, let us first import the input and button from react native elements let us create an input um, let's create a placeholder it will be email let me just save this as you can see we see a uh, email uh, let me just import the styles from styles and provide style is equal to styles dot container let me just save this okay so h is small okay so we need to create two state for that to store the email and the password for the user username initially it will be an empty string let me create for the password set password interesting as in itself well. now let us create a function let's say login so if email is bridgen let's say bridgen at the red gmail.com and password let's say abc abc if this both state matches this value that i have just provided then we navigate navigation dot navigate navigate the user to the product category screen this is the name of our screen that we have provided
else there will be an alert let's say error will be the title um, login info are incorrect okay let me just save this okay so here we need to provide the own change text so whatever the user uh, input we simply set this to the email value will be email let me just save this we have our email now let me just copy this much change the placeholder to password set email to set password and value will be password since it's the password we also need a secure entry text let me just save this so if i try on password it will be the dots now let us create a button title of that button will be login and on press we simply call the login function let me just save this now on the product category let me also add a text let's say welcome bridge and let me just save this so uh, if I uh, provide let's say Tony at the red gmail.com and password let's say provide anything if I press on login since it's the uh, incorrect credentials we should see a alert login info are incorrect it works perfectly fine <laughs> now let me provide the uh, actual uh, login credentials bridge at the red gmail.com password will be abc abc now if i press on login as you can see we are redirected to the product category screen so this is not it if you notice that we are getting this back functionality home and if we slide through all the press on the home we are back to the login screen so it doesn't make any sense because in real time application when you log in uh, on uh, in the app yeah, then your stack should be uh, emptied and your first screen will be the home screen or the product category screen in our scenario user cannot allow to just press on the back button or swipe uh, back to go to the home screen again so here what we can do is that we can reset the stack that we have created navigation dot reset here we provide the index of the uh, uh, component that we uh, needed to the needed to be the product category screen uh, will be on the index zero so our first uh, component on the stack Will be the product category screen here we need to provide the routes here we need to provide the object name and we can provide the product category if i press on if i save this now if i press on login uh we will redirect to the product category screen but we cannot simply go back to the home screen the back functionality will be disabled because our entire stack uh, uh, is emptied and a new stack will be created where the uh, at the index zero position the component will be product category so let me just uh, press on login and see if this works as you can see now there is no bank functionality over here and we cannot even go back 
uh, through this swipe. So this is how you can implement the uh, login functionality in your app. Uh, uh, after this series is over, navigation topic will uh, will be over in few videos. Uh, I'll be creating a project related uh, series where we use this type of login and we take uh, data from the backend. So thanks for watching it.